Hi, I'm Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management. And in this video, I want to walk you through the new Marketing Cloud Navigation that will be coming to Adobe Analytics in April 2016. You can see the new navigation at the top of the interface here. Um, there's a new black toolbar, which is going to make it much easier for me to move back and forth between different solutions in the Marketing Cloud and also uh, between different tools in Adobe Analytics. I started here in Reports and Analytics. Uh, hopefully this looks familiar to, uh, to most of you. It's very easy for me to switch from Reports and Analytics to Analysis Workspace just by clicking on Workspace in the navigation at the top and I can switch back just as easily. Uh, so hopefully that saves you a click or two. Um, from the navigation I can also very easily access my different component managers. So if I want to manage my segments or my metrics or my date ranges, etc., I can just mouse over components and it will give me a, a drop down that I can use to go directly to, uh, to the component manager that I want to access. Tools is where I can find the different tools in Adobe Analytics from ad hoc analysis to report builder and I can launch those or install them as needed and settings which will actually be renamed to admin uh, prior to this release uh, contains all of my admin console functionality so I can again hop directly to the area of the admin console that I want to use and if you're not an admin you won't actually see this menu or this option in the first place so uh, you won't have to uh, worry about that uh, over here on the right, we've got a few other choices. Beta feedback won't be in there once we, um, once we actually have this release. It's in there uh, because it is in beta testing. Uh, I can also launch my uh, reports and analytics uh, report navigation directly from here by clicking on the magnifying glass icon. Uh, so I can, I can uh, very easily find my reports. Uh, I've got help, which is accessible from the help icon. And then if I had different Marketing Cloud solutions or core services that I have access to, I could switch directly to those from this navigation. So I could hop over, for example, to Adobe Target or Adobe Media Optimizer or Primetime, or I could hop into DTM and, uh, and do some tag management or go look at my assets. Um, so this piece of the navigation is actually one of the most important things, one of the most important pieces, uh, because it does allow me um, to very quickly hop back and forth rather than having to go up back to the marketing cloud UI and then go into the solution that I want. And then lastly, we have uh, my profile in the marketing cloud and I can edit my avatar or add a phone number um, for myself as well as, uh, as well as logging out. Now, in Adobe Analytics, there is also this new sidebar on the left which gives me a little bit more control over the interface. Um, what these do, or, or the icons that are available to me here, actually change depending on the tool that I'm in. Um, let's start here in Reports and Analytics um, with this pin icon. I can uh, click it to unpin and that's going to cause that left navigation as you just saw to kind of hide until I move over to that toolbar at which point it will fly out. So this gives me a little bit more room to work in my browser, a little bit more space uh, to, to work with my reports and my projects in Analysis Workspace and then of course if I want to navigate I can just mouse back over. I'm going to pin that back on. Uh, the next one below it, and if you mouse over these, it actually will show you what they do. Um, this one, uh, these next two actually toggle the, uh, the, the left rail, the left navigation from the traditional reports and analytics navigation over to the segment manager. Um, and so I can apply additional segments here um, by clicking on that. This makes it much easier for me to uh, toggle those back and forth rather than having to come all the way over here to my uh, to my report or my dashboard in order to do that. So I'm going to set that back to the traditional navigation. Now if we go over to Analysis Workspace and let's open up a new project, uh, we actually have an additional option here. We can we can un we can pin and unpin just like we could in Reports and Analytics. Um, we can toggle now between components, project details, and the traditional reports and analytics menu. So if I want to hop directly over to something in reports and analytics from analysis workspace, I can do that by picking the My Analytics option from the, uh, from the left uh, toolbar there. 
Uh, and so here in project details, I can fill out tags, descriptions, collaborators, uh, just like you've previously been able to do on the right side of your analysis workspace project. So uh, that, I think, uh, concludes the, uh, new, uh, the new navigation walkthrough and demo. And uh, hopefully you can see how these things are going to make it much easier for you to both work with your data in Adobe Analytics and work with the rest of the marketing cloud as you're able to switch back and forth more easily between solutions. And again, this is available in, uh, in April and you should receive a notification when you log into Adobe Analytics uh, uh, beginning on, uh, on March, uh, whatever today is, 27th, uh, letting you know that, that this is coming soon.